Hey there, Clickstuff Podcast listener. Thanks for watching us on YouTube. Since you are watching us on YouTube, you get the unique benefit of seeing me give a quick disclaimer before this episode. The episode you are about to hear was recorded on Monday, July 17th, the day the WizKids World's 2023 website went up. The website was then updated on Tuesday, July 18th, with new pricing. That addresses quite a few things we talk about in the podcast. Definitely give this episode a listen because we do cover a lot of useful information. Just know the, the prizing we're referring to has since been updated. Enjoy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the day's click stuff. Um, just want to let everybody know this is coming out on a Tuesday. Um, and this is our very raw and um, unfiltered reactions to the WizKids prizing announcement and schedule for Worlds um, recorded late Monday night. Um, so... Uh, keep in mind, we're we're very passionate about our hero clicks, and we really want to see this game grow and mature and and be a um, great game that we know it can be. And um, so last night was a very raw and a, a rather emotional um, podcast for uh, Jason, um, Alex, and myself, Daniel. So um, enjoy the. Uh, unfettered reaction to the WizKids prizing announcement for Worlds and uh, understand it comes from a place of loving and caring for the game and a want to see it grow. Welcome to Clickstar, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, Alex Coons, and Tyler Spees. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstoff today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let y'all know that Clickstoff is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, world's largest hero clicks retailer. Find HeroClix new and old on trollandtoad.com and use coupon code CLICKSTOFF for 5% off your HeroClix order. Merchant and pre-order items do not apply. Uh, if you like what you're hearing today on ClickStuff, check us out patreon.com forward slash ClickStuff. The honor above gets entered into our monthly giveaways. $5 and above gets entered into our uh, Discord server for HeroClix, tra- scra- HeroClix strategy and tactics discussion. And um, we have... A, an announcement to make for there we would like I'd like to thank um, Forrest Paul for being our first $50 patron member so yes thank you yeah big yeah yeah perfect good job oh, we Alex. have a soundboard that's <laughs> right good job good job <laughs> so I didn't um, want to do the super loud the super loud one I figured right. that was appropriate yeah, so the so, golf clap, the golf yeah. clap. So big thanks, thank you for that very much. Um, looking forward to working with you, and thank you for your support. Uh, so as y'all have already heard, joining me tonight is Jason, not doling his pain tonight, Alvi. Yeah, I didn't feel like you know, liquoring myself up was the way to go. I just need to feel that cut, you know, as deep as it goes. I, on the other hand, uh, did just so I could uh, uh, tolerate some of the discussion tonight and uh, without just punching my monitors. Um, so, and then secondly, joining me tonight is Alex, one at D&D night. Coos. I did it. I beat all the Dungeons and the Dragons. Um, yeah. I am not drinking tonight. I'm penalizing myself in different ways by having Taco Bell. So, mm. oh gosh, yeah. Did you slay the evil corporate overlords? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, I tried to woo them, and now I am an entry level salesman. So, ah, yeah, it backfired. Man, what a Monday! Jeez. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, we were talking about, so we're recording on Monday night. I plan on having this up soon. Um, I hope. It's my plan. Um, but, I mean, we're going to record on Sunday. We're going to talk about states. We're not talking about states tonight. Um, we will later. Obviously, 
we I played in states um, this past weekend. I'm playing in states next weekend. Um, but son of a biscuit, why did we have to make? Why are we having to make this episode tonight? Son of a bitch. Well, you know, it, it, it's pro it might actually be better because it might be good to give us a week because this upcoming weekend is, I think, the biggest states weekend. Yeah, I mean, um, we'll have a lot. There's of like tw there's like twelve or thirteen states playing this weekend. So having your guys's experience from before and this past weekend and then adding in that we could kind of round out most of the states there's that one last so you're weekend saying in July. you're saying next yeah you're saying next week would mm -hmm. be a good episode to kind of round out states and we still we still need to finish pulp tear maker too <laughs> yeah yeah but it's good to do the state thing because that's a direct lead into gen con because it's yeah. like hey we're, we'll be two weeks away I mean, I, uh, I, by I, that I, point or one week away at one by week that away point. yeah yeah so i tell you what mm -hmm. man We've been doing pulp. We've been doing um, modern. We've been talking. We've been going to states. We've been playing. That balloon has just been getting bigger and bigger. And it's been exciting. I've been working with our patrons on their states builds. I've been talking about folks with, with Gen Con. We got our rooms reserved today for Worlds. And we bought our TCB packages, which were non refundable. Like we were going straight up. Man, we were just going straight up, and man, just that little pin, do 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 do. No design a figure. Like what the fuck? Right. I mean, we with. I was like, you know, I was thinking about man, we're going to get the world's announcement. Here's what was in my mind, right? And you know, I built myself up, so I I, I deserve probably some of it, a little bit, just a little bit of it, tiniest bit of it. But I was like, man. How badass is it going to be? Design a figure and you get a factory set of Notorious for Winning Worlds. The mega set. Oh, man. Right? Wouldn't that have been sweet? Yeah, oh, no, that man. that was definitely pumping yourself up a little too much. Just Is it? No, because why would they would not give a factory set of a set that had not been released in this releasing? Really? Week. Incorrect. Two weeks in, later. In, incorrect. Did it times three at Rock Cup. Yeah, sorry. Avengers 60 came out. Uh, the, okay. That, well, I owned a I owned a entire factory set of Avenger sixty before it was fair. Released. Okay, yeah, Pr good point. Forgot about Heroclix for Huntington's. I completely forgot. But right. So at this point, um, guys, I, I will say this: we typically try to stay solutions focused. We typically try to stay very decently positive here, right? And yeah, maybe some of us do. What some of us do, I do, <laughs> right? I'm an optimist. I, th I think what I'm we're an optimist. In this but scenarios. It, but at this point, I I'm am, a realist. I, I am, I am pissed. Hero clicks for Huntington's has better prizing right now than Worlds does. Yeah, there are states events that had better prizing than Worlds right now. <laughs> some, but yeah, almost that big that sort of the factory sets that big. Pulp event in Texas has more, had more. Well, yeah. yeah. Con exclusive wise, it had more. I mean, yeah, but, yeah, but that's also, I mean, you're right. I'm not going to argue that. Like, we're getting, they're going to give us like an X, a Rise and Fall Prime and Chase hit, which is like one of so, the absolute worst ones. So in let, let's years. just, let's break it down. How about let's break it down? Let's talk about it a little bit. So I'm trying to pull up the link again. I, I closed it out of anger, out of. I could, I could, I could tell it. So, uh, for the world, we're talking purely the world championship, the singles. They did not post any sort of prizing for the side events. They left it vague, which usually they they actually post stuff. That's probably wise because wasn't it last year they they had to go back on some prizing or something? They didn't have something at Worlds. Mm. I couldn't remember. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't remember that happening. Um, so for the World Championship, this is all on the WizKids World Dash 2023. They list out here prizing. Participate. I'll start at the lowest for those who can't go look at it and they're listening to us on the road. Participation, you get a plastic man with objects, Gwenpool Prize, and Krampus. That's participation, fine. That plastic man and objects, fine. No big deal. Top 32, you get uh, Spider-Man, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, Spider-Man, uh, sorry, Superman and Wonder Woman, and Batmite. So those are old stuff, but um, the Spider-Man is... 
This is a 10 plus years old. Probably. Well, the Luke Cage Iron Fist and the Spider Man are from OP. But yeah, they're, you're right. They're, yeah, they're, they gave out them last year. But um, the other two are old, old, old. Now, top 16 above get the all the previous pri prizing. It is cumulative. So, top 16 also gets a uh, Ghost Spider, Brainiac Lex, Punchline, and Batman and Catwoman. So, older Con Ellie's. Uh, top 8 gets Gingerbread Man. So, all right, we're getting into some better ones. Uh, no, no, Dark wait, Knight. wait. Hold on. Gingerbread Man was a free add-on last yeah, year. Yeah, if you were if you were lucky to buy something from their store, I don't know how many people actually did. And did they run out? I thought they ran out. Some people didn't end up getting it. I, I don't um, know. I mean, I bought it. And it I well, got, let's look at it this way. It's the one figure on this list that wasn't at Worlds last year. <laughs> yeah, so that, uh, to me. It's above top four. To me, Gingerbread Man's rare enough to be like, okay, that's that's okay in my book. That's yeah. not great, but okay. Uh, after that, you get Death Metal Wonder Woman, okay, like Dan, uh, like uh, Jason said, was there last year. Harley Quinn, blah, and then Ghost Spider, which is listed uh, twice. Yeah, that one. I I feel like they meant to put something else there. Um, I'm also blanking on Ghost Spider. Is that the OP that, kit one? That, that was, was a that was a bagged bagged bag okay, one. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, top four is where you the good stuff actually show up. Uh, well, no, no. Okay, so keep in mind you've got Thor Gwen, which is a, now a winnable. It's not a buyable. The Watcher, which you get in the TCB, but if you don't get that, it's a winnable. It's not a buyable. You get Venom, God of Symbiotes, only a winnable. You get Superman and the Joker, which are also only winnables. So it's all the winnables for top eight, uh, top the, four. Sorry, top four. The, the Joker hasn't shown up before. He was listed. He's listed on the whole summer convention thing. Um, same with Superman. It's the Superman shooting the rainbows out, and then it uh, is it is the Joker with the the mask. Okay, um, I was wondering what those were for sure. Like, yes, because oh, there was a bag Superman last year. Yeah, so, so, you know, there was some confusion when they announced those. They made it seem like they were all purchasable. But no, Thor, Gwen, Venom, Superman, and Joker are the winnables. Okay. The Watcher okay. is like a pseudo-buyable if you get the TCP whatever thingy. Um, mm -hmm. And then also top four get the Rise and Fall Chase and Prime set. So uh, that... Which is garbage. Right, um, not great. If you combine that with the others, sure, but I feel you like know, those other just, winnables should have been in top eight. Like so. Just for comparison's sake, last year, top four, I got a Disney Plus and an X of Swords set. Prime Chase and Prime set. Both of them for top four. Yeah, I'm curious what the rarities of these winnables are. They can't be much, right? Like Because they got to be in the BRs. I, I, I so. guarantee you they're dropping them in BRs, yeah. Um, and then we get to the top two. Uh, so the second place, well, I guess both second and first. So the top two also get Batman team up chase prime solid. That's a, yep. that's a solid yep. top two. You get top that's two. Very, that's good. That's real good. Yeah. But then for some reason, the winner also should also get the Batman team up chase prime set, but gets an Avengers forever factory set. Um, which which I'll say, I'll go ahead and say it before you do, Alex. Mm -hmm. I get that you think that it might be a typo for Avengers 60. I think it's 100% that, yes. 100%. I, it makes I, sense. That I don't think so. I, I think I, whoever was typing this list... I hope it is, but by gummy, it means, makes, it's, yeah. not, it's not on there right now. Right. As of right now, it's Avengers Forever, which is garbage. If it was Avengers 60th... Completely that, different story. Not, that's a that's a good winning prize. I get it. So, but that's not what we're about to talk about. That's we're not. But it about. is. No, no. I want to back up. I would just, before we talk about the next thing, I want to talk about compared to last year and what Jason just told us. Mm -hmm. It is less. Um. So if we're taking if we're if we're assuming it's Avengers sixtieth is what you're saying. No, no. Jason got top four. Or, he got he got two Chase and Prime sets, right? Yeah, X of Swords, which had just come out, and Disney Plus. Though so the two newest ones at the time. Right. Okay. So two of them. And two. then and then additionally, regardless of if it's Avengers sixtieth or Avengers Forever, by gummy, it is the world 
Championship in Memphis, Tennessee at Graceland Exposition Center. Let's get a Notorious set that releases three days after Worlds. Yeah. Let's yeah, go all out. Here. One factory set for the winner of Notorious. The mega set. The biggest hero click set ever, I think. Yeah. That's Come that's on. Let's do, it. let's do it. Let's do it. Give it to them. If it, yeah, if it's going to be at my LGS three days later, then why the hell? You know that well they've got some. One. Not some. All you got to have is one. Just one. Yep. <sighs> yeah, just one. And, and, you know, and as Scott Crampton said on a video tonight, if you don't have it ready, mail it to them. They'd be happy to have you mail it to them. I'd be overjoyed to have it mailed to oh, me. I would too. Well, so that's the thing, though. Like, I'm not as optimistic as you guys are of Notorious. That's fine. But even a Avengers 60th, though, like oh, as a yeah, company, so I, as a company, yeah. it makes no sense that they could not put together. Like they couldn't say, "Hey, Joe, you still got that Me Mephisto? We got this empty factory set box. Let's just piece all this together for what we have, and like try to oh, make man. one for the winner." Like it makes no sense. They can't at least piece one together or like hey we've got extra bricks in the warehouse let's just open them to make a factory set yeah i would be overjoyed to have an avenger 16th factory set that'd be great that's yeah with, that, with, with how much fantastic set. exactly like notorious sure we we it would be better obviously but even yeah. if we took a step down and said avenger 60 it's not that huge of a step down because the chases, the primes, ultra chase, all of that is still going for a ridiculous amount of money. So right. you you're getting a good amount of money just with that. Right. But By as way, of right now, it's Avengers Forever, which, which is isn't an absolute worst set. I mean, there's there's worse sets. Could have been yeah. War of the Realms. <laughs> Could have been. At least there's like a Rack Knight, Iron Hammer. You know. All right, we don't need to we don't need to justify the Forever one. We could justify we the Avengers 60th, right? Yeah, not uh, the Forever, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's still a garbage. I mean, Batman would be a better for the finalist or the winner than that. But yes, I agree. If they flipped it, but right. then again, it, the winner now, would get. To be clear, it does say at the Batman. bottom of the page, just to keep this on track. Prizing subject to change for all events of sub schedule subject to change without notice at Whiskey's Souls discussion. Yeah. Standard, standard shit. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, and and uh, by the way, what did, what does it become? What does it take for me to become a wrestling promo announcer? Two fingers of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, you know, if they all, if they come out tomorrow, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, you know, jokes on you guys. This is all true change and all this. That's great, but yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, like, like this is not how you build hype. Like someone, no. someone posted like, all right, well, maybe it was Ed A B that said, "Is this the way for them to build, build this?" Uh, you know, build coverage of the event? No. This is, a this is how you kill it. Yeah. Like, you stomped it on, you put it on the ground and stomped on it. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> something, well, so last year, I we got this page, I think a month prior, I think it was June, that we got this page for 2022 that listed everything. Um, I think. Uh, I feel like we knew the prizing then. Oh, wait a minute. With, Hold on. Wait a minute. What? Hold on. Yep. The what? the the finalists they don't get a factory set of BTU. They get the finalists. A, they get they get a no. They get a Chase oh, Prime set. Oh, yeah, it's not. You're right. It's not. Oh, it's Chase you're Prime right. Chase set. Price. Yep, oh my right. gosh! So you don't even get the constructs and any of that other cool shit. I mean, the primes are good, but yes, you're right. Yeah, no, yeah. Damn, um, damn. It makes me wonder. Like, WizKids has a history of being really bad at proofreading stuff. Like, did they just put this together and it just did not get cleared by upper management? Because it isn't just hero clicks. I mean, like, the onslaught prizing below it doesn't mention anything about cumulative. So, like, if you're playing that game, I know you guys don't care, but, like, the winner of the World Championship of Onslaught gets a trophy. Whereas everyone before him get professional painted miniatures. You get this expansion, this gold chest. But if you win it all, and it's not cumulative, you get this trophy that has no playability. Here's a trophy. Everyone else gets something cool. 
but you just get the trophy. And it's now it's assumed mm -hmm. that it's supposed to be cumulative, but that's not written out there. It's not written like hero clicks where it says all top four prizing, all top eight. So this just screams of someone didn't oh. proofread this. Now I gotta go back just a minute to correct something that mm -hmm. I said I got a I guess I said I got a Disney Plus Chase and Prime and an Exa Source Chase and Prime set for top four. Well, I did get those. But I, what I didn't realize was is that the Disney Plus was for top eight prizing. Yes. Yep. And then the X of Swords was top four. Yeah. So so uh, you're still getting just one Chase and Prime set for top four, but you're not getting one for top eight this time. Yeah, I have I have theories that I don't know if we want to go into about it. So yeah. Also, I need to state the fact that uh, finalists last year got a Disney Plus factory set. Mm -hmm. Not a Chase and Prime set for the finalists. They got a factory mm -hmm. set, and they got the Exoswords object set. Object yeah, set. The object I'm set. looking at it right now, and they got the Exoswords factory set. Uh, the mm -hmm. winner did, and yeah, and the design fig. Yeah, so mm -hmm. like, there's a huge difference. Like, I want to talk about. I just want to focus on that before we talk about design of fig real quick, which I think is going to be the next thing we roll into here. There was a lot more prizing for top eight last year mm -hmm. or top four for finalists for the winner now for what far as we know like the chase and prime set the rise and fall is going to retire right after worlds immediately it, pretty much that's yeah. that's what we that's our guess we don't know for sure we haven't heard anything blah 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 standard disclaimer <laughs> shit right we don't and <laughs> But it is two years. It is over two years old. Uh, in August of August of twenty. It, by the time Worlds will get here, it'll be twenty five. It'll, it, it'll be twenty five months old. Yeah. 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 In a month, it'll be two two years because yeah. yeah. it came out in August. Right. Yeah. But by that time, it'll be over two years old. And I've had two Worlds. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Technically, Which, like three, but. Yeah, it had, it's had two, online. It's had two. Ooh, yeah. for, it's had two with Kids Worlds. To be clear, like I don't want to tangent too much on retirement speculation, but also by the time Worlds rolls around, X of Swords will have two WizKids Worlds under its belts. Yeah. So, very possible X of Swords could be gone again. But it shouldn't be. It's barely. No, it it'll have been out a year. No, we we can hype about it or talk about this later because there's a lot of cool discussion about like. What sets do we think will go? Would Disney Plus go to get rid of Saki and the Power Racers, or it, X of Swords? It, X of Swords kind of lasted longer because it was multiple months, so it went into like August. And so you're talking the main set. I don't think they'll separate the main set from the OP storyline OP because I think the tarot they don't want like only the OP tarot cards to be legal because that just makes things weirder. Um, so I think they'll retire all of it at once, and I don't think they'll do that for the the, the slop yet. So I think Exo Swords is fine. Honestly, it's realistically they're running, they're running more slop at Worlds and at Gen Con. Yeah, that'd be a little a little weird, but it, it's definitely before we go into the big design of figure thing. It, it definitely feels like I, I'm hoping this is the one time that I feel like the whole prizing subject to change thing is like we hope it does. As opposed to, I hope they don't go back and change something like because something bad happened and they ran out of something. Because I definitely, I'm definitely hopeful that they, they make some changes to this to match. And and yeah. I wonder, I wonder how much states had anything to do with this. Because mm. they're like, are they just out of stuff? Like, is that what you're saying? Yeah, because I mean, like state, we had fifty states. I get, I think all the states and provinces See, and all that. I just like, I just don't understand how they're out of all that shit, and yet they still have Connellys from ten fucking years ago laying around. Well, because they aren't giving those out. Like they just, it's, it's they still got Superman and Wonder Woman LEDs from years upon years ago. Well, it's, and, and it's also not to mention that we're pretty, we're low on. 
con Ellie's anyway this year, aren't we? Like the well, new ones? Then, then just design some, print some new ones. That's they, my point. Yeah. They, they've had, they saw how much, I would say, last year, with kids, we showed up. Like, biggest mm-hmm. world championship ever. Biggest uh, team worlds ever. Yeah. We showed up. We came out. We spent our money. We traveled. A few, like, 100, was 170, 180 players and worlds showed up? Like 178, I think. Yeah. I mean, my gosh, we showed up to prove that we were excited about Memphis and ready to play. And then we just get kicked in the gut with the same thing from last year. Just no design a figure for the winner. Yeah. So I don't I don't know who has it out for that. Like who in the top brass doesn't like that and why they don't like it, but man, that's like the greatest prize that a company gives out. Uh, you know, that that aren't giving out like a hundred K of cash or some shit like that. It's like yeah. that's a legacy oh. you have in this game from year from now on. Like this is a figure you design in this game that you love that's around for the rest of the history. Like, and you're fucking taking that away from us. Like, yeah. why? That's what we're striving for. That's what it's all about. And it's not even a typo. Like, it should be just a thing that's on your mind. Like, draft one, the first thing that you add for the winner of worlds. Instantly. Yeah. Design a figure. Yeah, there are other companies doing it. So why are you not doing it? And I just and, and I just and I just absolutely hate that we have to make this podcast again this year. It so I'm it, trying to it, I'm it, try, it real, bugs the shit out of me. I'm trying to f- figure out they did so they didn't make the announcement when they added it back. They just subtly did it after we raised the polls. Yeah. And memes, because I'm looking back, but there's a post on August 16th, so maybe they did release all the prizing way later than I thought. Um, Because it was August 16th of last year when everyone started sending the memes, we did the polls, and that's when they posted the winner gets the design of figure. Like, they added that to the, um, the, the factory set that they were getting before. Um, and I think they subtly did it. It wasn't a wasn't a like announcement of oopsie. But um, no, maybe we, I'm wrong. I, I don't remember an announcement, but maybe I don't remember an announcement either. If there was, no, I don't think there was. I think they just slid it back in. Yep. And I mean, we were talking. What's funny is like we sh- there should have been more hype. Like they they should have built up to it because we were also kind of complaining about Nats. Like even before this, we were complaining a little bit about what the the national prizing was. Yeah, because the, Nat, the Nats winner gets a trophy. Where's the world's winner's fucking trophy? Yeah. If the, if the Nats champ would deservedly get should get a trophy, where's the world's trophy? Like, come on. I think the the other thing I, I would say is that if the bigger issue is that everyone wants to design a figure, but if there are concerns, if there are issues with it, where maybe maybe some of the licensing uh, issues come up and say it's too much of a hassle, Marvel DC has asked us to stop allowing the design of figure for whatever reason. That's fine, and if you can't say that, that's fine too, WizKids. But there needs to be a equivalent exchange. There needs to be better pricing in the form of Heroclix. That's fine, like something substantial to say. We're sorry, we got to remove the design of uh, the Heroclix, the design of figure because of whatever reason, right? Two legacy they, des- design, two legacy cards. Well, if it's the design thing, say they can't, you can't design for whatever reason. Uh, but but sure. they haven't. They, we've had design they like we've had design. We've had to pick a legacy card for two years. Sure, that's a Heroclix for Huntington's thing. But yes, sure, um, sure they can add that. 
Um, I'm saying like if something came up and they're not allowed to talk about it, sure, like there's mm-hmm. a, that realm of possibility where they're like we can't say anything. There still needs to be something added, right? Like it, mm-hmm. they can't just say, oh yeah, like we're just gonna take it off and it's just not gonna be there, and we're just gonna give you an Avengers fifty, uh, Avengers forever factory set. Like it needs to be like two factory sets. It needs to be like something significant to replace yeah. it. Like there needs to be a lot more instead of just saying, "Oh, we're taking off design a figure." Like, okay, well, there needs to be something to make up for it. If you yeah. can't do any design things, we understand if you can't talk about it or whatever, but there has to be something. Like if there was something out here where we saw and it said Avengers 60th and Notorious factory sent for the winner there's no design of figure we'd be a we'd be upset about the design of figure but we might be a little bit more understanding because the prizing would be significantly better than it was last year right i would uh, i would if they can't do design a figure i would just like to see in the thing we can't do design a figure yeah or, just say, just say no that. design a figure yeah just, just say can't it. just stealth remove it yeah, or just, for God's sake, let them make a pog. For God's sake, like they're doing. Yeah. Well. Rock up. Yeah. So there's certain things for Hero Clicks for Huntington's. I think they're trying to stay with like this is for charity. Let's make it special. Um, it, that's why they've got the separate. It's it's not it's not it's not not special because there's two of them instead of one. That adds a lot of. Po- I I get what you're saying. Um, but you're right. There needs to be just something like if they came out and said we've had to remove it based off of internal discussions whatever design a figure has been removed but then compensated with something else yeah but instead they removed it and then there's worse pricing than last year yeah so it's like okay the, what is going on like that that doesn't make any make any sense Right. Yeah, I mean there there are three figures in that stuff that weren't given out last year, or sold there last year, in the prizing for the whole thing. Well, no, there's five because right? you got the five winnables. Well, okay, and but gingerbread those are, those man. Are, but those, those are six. being given. Those are being given out in other places, though. Like we, we, well, technically we don't know because they have not listed any prizing for any of the side events. Yeah, so. but I'm sure that they will because they they did before. If you look at the side events for last year, they do specifically state for like, um, right? But I'm not, I mean, BR tables are probably going to be full of those things. Is what I'm saying. They could be throwing out plastic man objects, OP uh, slop stuff. I mean, it. I could see them doing something weird. But yes, oh, so based you off, mean it's, of, you mean it's going to be even worse than we're thinking now because the battle royal prize is going to suck too. <laughs> it, it, well, me. it also depends on what set. If we're doing Notorious and they're throwing those prizes out, uh, nobody is going to care. Because if you're able to play Notorious early and just play a bunch of BRs and get a bunch of that set, absolutely. Like that was that's just like at um shoot, what well, Dan at the uh, the Champion Clicks event, right? Like because that one set had just come out, Batman. And it's like we were playing BRs there, and I didn't care we didn't have extra prizing because I was having a great time getting figures I wanted yeah. out of a set that just came out. So if they did pre-release. BRs of just it was pre-release. Newmark bought a bunch of pre-release. Products. Right, 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 right. So it, it it will be the same time frame, very similar time frame to what mm-hmm. Notorious. So like I was perfectly fine with that. So like if the Wizkids just does that and throws some of the uh, smaller stuff and doesn't do winnables, I'd be upset. But I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd still play BRs because I'd get to play Notorious. Mm-hmm. We don't even that's know that's the case, though. So. Right. This is all... Speculative. Um, speculative. Yeah. Exactly. So, the, you guys, do you think they will add design a figure back? I, ho- I want to say yes. But... I, I, I do, too. I want to say yes, but what in the world? Freaking... They don't, assurance I who don't I have. I mean, why am I having to make? Why are we having to make the same podcast again this year? About please add design a figure back. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Please. Somebody wants it off the board. Whoever it is, I don't know, but somebody wants it gone. 
Yeah, it, it's, I, it, it's 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 too apparent. It, it, yeah, I it's, it's Jason, I, I Jason, Jason, I would I would like last year I probably would have said you're just being a conspiracy theorist, but two years in a row it doesn't make the in, initial cut. Like, mm-hmm. why? Yeah, somebody's got a somebody has it out for it. I don't know why, but they do. Yeah, but once again, uh, I'll say that's okay if they make an announcement and if they add comparable well prizing i would agree with you i would agree with you but they've already done what they've done and they didn't do that so it's not okay no i i'm not saying it's okay at all i'm saying Uh, they should have done that right up front and not backtrack later yeah Yeah. it it makes me wonder if like the page was just not done (laughs) and they just promoted it before it was ready like they just list they listed all the stuff that they knew they had and they're like, all right, let's see what else we got coming up to September. And it's like, we got the page, go. Because it's... I, I don't know. I'm, t- I'm tired of giving the benefit of the doubt on this shit. But well, that's, that's the real happened, answer, remember? It, it's happened enough times, dude. Like, you keep... I can't... Why do I keep expecting you to be better when you just keep proving to me you're going to do the, the exact shit we don't want you to do? <laughs> Jason, you've, uh, nailed, you've hit the nail on the head. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because at at this at this point, before going in the Nats and Worlds, if we want to take a trip back six months ago, we were very sour on everything. We were clamoring for WKOs. We still sort of are, which we didn't get. But we resigned ourselves because we did get other things. States ended up, I think, being better than anticipated. States Um, is great. States is great. That that's a Howard thing. That's a Howard and, and WizKids thing, though. Howard well, did not just magically come up but, with all the factory sets. Well, you know, no, you're right. Howard didn't come up with all the factory sets, but if it wasn't for him, that wouldn't have happened. Right. If it wasn't for Howard pushing and being... I, I'm going to say this is not Howard the Heroclix player. This is Howard the businessman. If it was not Howard the businessman taking care of Howard the Heroclix player, we wouldn't have had as good of estates as we did. No, yeah. absolutely. That's absolutely. a good on him more than it is a good on his kids. I th- I'm I'm glad they gave what they gave for the prize, and that's great. But that's that's a that's all him for getting that done. Yeah, I mean, and, it, and, it, and thank you, Whiz Kids, for agreeing to be with to help Howard and do the thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, let's just be clear there. I mean, you know, thank you, Whiz Kids, for that. But come on. Like, yeah, it's it, it's it's softened the blow and like go before nationals announce prizing announcement because I think that's that announcement was the first kind of <sighs> eh, like this this isn't great but it is a Nats so like I felt like we forgive forgave it a little bit um, in anticipation for Worlds and then that was kind of the the I feel like I feel like we were we didn't give it as much scrutiny as we should have <laughs> um, to be honest. Yeah, it's because a nat- every- it's a national championship. It's still. I mean, at this point, yeah. I mean, we. I feel like we didn't give it enough scrutiny. Yeah. Yeah, it's. But you know, maybe we 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 gave him a pass because we were riding highs at the time. We were riding high on a sixty chases. <laughs> yeah, because well, we got out of we got out of here yeah. for Huntington's, which was yeah. fantastic event. Great stuff coming out of it. Prizing was awesome. We had the Scott Porter figures announcement yep. and it's like states, this is great states was coming right and and going into it i remember me personally thinking it's just states guys like it's it's just states but then we saw the pricing for it and then now we've been seeing the weeks of it and it's like this is states is great like this is this is back to where hero clicks felt good like it's not exactly wkos but it kind of felt like that to me because mm-hmm. Yeah, we were kind of going on a rocket ship up, right? Yeah, like that. we had this we had this great upward project trajectory, and things were feeling good, and we were excited, and then all of a sudden we like fell off a cliff today. Like, yep, that is yeah, way, we, to, way to stop the momentum. Because the momentum kept going. Because we we saw the we got the announcement earlier this week of like here's the hotels, here's yeah. the the packet, even the TCB whatever 
T- yeah. TGIF pra- package, whatever it's called. TCB like, package, yeah. Yeah, it's like, that was even really good. Like, the stuff in it, like, sure, the tour, whatever. But getting a Death Metal Wonder Woman, she's still worth something. Getting the Phoenix that no one ever got. Getting a Watcher. Awesome. We get an Onslaught thing, cool. But then a ticket, like, all of that was worth $48, $49. Like, absolutely. So, like, riding into it of, okay... The, the room block is great. The mm-hmm. price is great. Like, we were super hyped. And then this came, and it's it sucks. I And the piggyback off of this, and this is kind of um, not specific. It is WizKids related, but not HeroClix related. Is, um, one, you've got Onslaught's been added. Everyone's seen Onslaught. Um, say what you will about Onslaught. I like it. Um, they've only got one, like, they have their own BR format now, which is a new side event. But that's it. Um, like, they don't have any other side events listed, which is unusual, because they have a, t- they have, like, two separate side event type things at Gen Con. So that makes me wonder of, I feel like they're leaving something off. They have a couple scenarios that I feel like need to be out here that mm-hmm. are not out here. That's weird. Uh, the pricing was also set up weird as well. Um, like for them hyping, and we thought they were going to hype up Onslaught so much, to it only being here's some new BR format and just cha- world championships. That's that feels super weird that they yeah. would kind of drop the ball a bit on that. The second thing, and I will emphasize this so much is the fact that Dice Masters is just gone from well, the World Championship. You should have known that with, it, with the championship being at Gen Con. That was just apparent. That's what was going to happen. But the fact that there's no side events, there's no, there's nothing. They took Why? it off. Yeah, that yeah. makes zero sense. I understand. No, it does. It makes perfect sense. Who's going to go there for just a rainbow draft when the World Championship isn't in the air? There's probably a decent amount of players that would go for a good, a good like if they did a like how we have pulp and we haven't talked about any of that yet, but like how we have a pulp and a theme. Like if they did a rainbow draft, but they also did like we're gonna do it's not world championship. We should save that for Gen Con to get more people, um, but we're gonna do still like a big modern tournament. That well, sure, normal, okay. That would be enough to get people there because there's a lot of uh, dice master but, players that play hero clicks and pl- do are- team sealed. If you're going to do a big modern tournament, why didn't you just have the World Championship there? So I don't know if uh, there are marketing and reasons in my head that make sense for them to say, hey, it we could potentially get a lot more players at Gen Con there for other games that are interested in mm-hmm. playing that. The other big caveat, which I think is the real reason, is that if you think about how Worlds was set up last year, two big halls... Yeah, that's they don't have the room for it. It was tight. It was still tight then. There were some big open spaces, but when you had the lines going for registration, it wasn't like that room had a ton of space. Um, So if you add in Onslaught, think Onslaught's taken all of that a lot more space than Dice Masters does. Where's Dice Masters going to go? Now, I could tell you it can go in the freaking cafeteria. Who cares? Because there's enough space out there in the walkway to run some events. There's plenty of space to throw Dice Masters and it still be a, a successful thing. Like, I've been preaching that WizKids now with Onslaught added, sorry, Star Trek Attack Wing, they've got three really strong games now that are wait, unique. Wait, Attack Wing doesn't get anything this year, right? No, Attack Wing's like dead. Oof. But, like, I'm saying now. They don't even produce it anymore, I don't think. Right? I think they're still making, like, ships every Oof. so often. But, like, now WizKids has three strong games, three unique games that they sh- could promote all three of them and they'd be successful. And if this is WizKids' worlds, why on, uh, why on earth is Dice Masters not at least represented? I understand if Worlds has to be at Gen Con because that's just better for the game. But the fact that they, like, removed it from Compete in these amazing games and it's like, here's these two... And like even at the bottom, they have uh, Colossus, like the hero clicks and the little the little banner, the footer at the bottom. If you look at last year's, it was hero clicks and dice masters. 
and they just literally took out Dice Masters and just put the onslaught picture over it and left Heroclix how it how it was before. So it, it's just disappointing on for me on so many levels. I feel like if you're running this, you could get more people there. You can for not that much more cost by yeah. just running more things. I think you could get Dice Masters people there even by running side events because they like it, interacting with Heroclix players and I don't know about Onslaught players, but they like interacting too. A lot of Dice Master players play like sealed Heroclix. You'd probably get a bunch of them wanting to play in uh, Team Worlds. Like, I think that's what a, a decent amount of them did last year. So I, I, it's a bummer, and I and I'm praying that <laughs> this changes. Uh, probably not the Dice Masters part, but I'm praying the pri prizing changes, and that this was just a. They put the website up too early, and the Facebook should not have promoted it yet. That's me being Mister Optimist. I can agree with your optimism, Alex, but. Like, come on. Some of this stuff is just so sh apparent that they could have easily, 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 easily had design a figure. Some of the better Chase and Prime sets. That it, it just, it's just so, I just, it just. With I find the, it hard to believe they're that incompetent. I, I just, I do, I do, and I know they're not. I know these guys. We've met these There's, guys. There are some, there are some great people that run some of this stuff, right? Like, and and know. I know, and, I, and we know, like, we know that some of them listen to the show, and we know that y'all are awesome people, and we've met your chiefs over the years. They've done the presentations at Gen Con. Your new COO. I, I had one sit down five years ago with Zirin, and it was great. I know, y'all know, why, why, why do you make us do this? Please tell us why. Please tell us that it's coming. You need to get approval. Something. Gosh. So, so let, me, let me ask you real quick. Avengers 60th. Factory set wise, there was only the three or four in Hero Clicks for Huntington's. Not mm -hmm. actually more than that because I think they had some in the auction. So it may have been like four, five, six, maybe. Outside of that, none of the states had it, right? States was all Batman. Right. Batman and just forever. Ba Batman forever and, and Exa Swords. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Exa Sword it, Slop. Yeah, yeah. In case, it, exactly. But there, there wasn't anything else. Nationals doesn't have Avengers 60th factory set, right? Yes. It doesn't have any factory set, does it? It does. It has uh, does Batman. It? Batman. Oh, okay. But it doesn't have... Um, does it have anything in Avengers 60th? Is it like a factory... Or is it a Chase Prime? No. No. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling it up now just to it's, 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 it's not. We wouldn't have been so, all so down on it if it was. What happened with Avengers 60th? Like... How did they want... Because obviously they had the foresight to think of... Um, okay, wait. No, it says... Wait, hold on. The Gen Day Con Hero Clicks Prizing. Finalist, you get a Spider-Man Beyond Amazing Factory set. And okay. then the winner gets the Avengers 60th Factory set. Okay, so it's, it's Canada. Okay. It's Canada. Canada Nats gets the... Uh, Cana okay. Canadian Nats gets the uh, the not so great set. Then the yeah, other... so the finalists, so the finalists for Nat for Nats get better prize in the world too. Um, yeah, yeah, that that is a good point. But yeah. still, but still at that, that we're talking probably less than ten factory sets for Avengers 60th have been playing out at this point because we're still saying Avengers Forever is the winner. But yet, we've had probably like 50 Batman team-up factory sets be pushed out there because there's a decent amount of Heroclix for mm -hmm. There's all of states. So, like, did they just decide ahead of time, we're going to make a ton of Batman 
let's not make as much Spider-Man, let's not make as much Avengers, let's just do the one Batman set and that's it. Like, how did they not have the foresight to be like, the fact- factory sets can't, in my head, cost that much for them to make a factory set. When you think about the cost of the figures, the, the produce, whatever, to just say we're going to make a factory set, let's yeah. run a print of that, it can't be that difficult. There's never been an Avengers Forever factory set put into the wild. So where did that come from all of a sudden? No, they've well, had, a, they, they've had Avengers, did they? for, they had Avengers Forever for, for states. We're playing for one for... I mean, until, yeah, until then. Like, there was never, they never had it before then. The set hadn't been out for Nationals last year. Right. It wasn't out for Worlds or whatever. And yeah. So yeah, they didn't have something, but they apparently had a bunch of them. Like, Yeah, it's just... This screams like the prizing's missing something. Like they just they typed in what they had, and they just weren't sure if they had certain things yet, and it just went too early. That's my optimistic, hopeful view. But it just seems weird, Alex. But that's I, I get that being an optimistic, hopeful view. Like yeah. I'm, I'm fully, I'm down with you. I want it to be an optimistic, hopeful view. Then why submit it? Why, why submit it? Submit it to what? To us. I, I don't know if it's just the the Facebook thing just posted early okay I, they posted it early somebody had to write that motherfucker well and, and that, didn't have and didn't have the and didn't have the information right you didn't, accident, you, didn't, you didn't accidentally write it you fucking wrote that on purpose well and that's my point something that has clearly been shown year after year is that the WizKid chain of command there is struggles at the bottom with appropriately getting permission like the showing like approvals for things. Think about how many times we've seen misspellings, mistypes on either just promotion material, cards. Like there's just a certain level of quality control that does not. It's like Creed Bratton from The Office is the quality control of WizKids at this point because it's just so much is going by. And when it gets, when the upper management finds out, that's when things do kick into gear, right? Like, that's when whoever, Zirin, uh, whoever, the, the C, uh, CFO, like, when when that is brought to their attention, they act appropriately quickly and justify the situation. But the problem is, is that it shouldn't have to get to them. It should have been approved and reviewed before it went out. It's very reactive and not proactive. And yeah. so that's why I'm I'm falling on the history of this feels like someone went through this, did not go through the appropriate levels of approval, and just posted it and said, let's go with the list they think is final that may not be final because they have that whole subject to change, whatever. Um, yeah. That's like optimistically based off of what's happened before. But yeah, you're right. It could very mu- well not change at all. And that would suck. And that's when we all become just... Pulp World Championships. Well, so all right, perfect. That's, that's, not, that's what a what a great too. segue, Alex. Yeah, <laughs> for the next for the next kick in the pants. The next kick yeah. in the pants was you have to decide. So Thursday we had a big Silver Age event last year on Thursday, and now so they're wanting to do Pulp Silver, uh, you know, Pulp. Um, World Championship themes, World Championship, but you have to choose now. Yeah, uh, the, you yeah. have to choose if you want to become the Pulp World Champion or the, the Hero Click the, the Hero Clicks Team World Champion, or you have to decide on Saturday if you would like to become the Hero Click Single World Champion or the Hero Clicks Theme World Champion. To whereas it very clearly would be in the schedule to have both of those events run on Thursday and you get to decide on Thursday whether you want to be pulp or theme world champion. Now to clarify for those that are looking at the schedule, we you don't have to make that decision ahead of time. The conflict happens when single el- elimination happens. So, but uh, it isn't here's that. The, to, it, here's the right, thing. right. We, we're we're all going with the assumption we're making it and we're going to win it all. I get it. No, but no. We're, we're also I'm, going with the assumption that the event runs on time. 
Sure. But and you're not too late to get into it, even if you don't I, make top cut. I feel like they had the they had a, comp, a a thing like this before, and they waited for something to finish before they started something else. I feel like I remember that's possible. Like, but not they waited till cut. I should say. Yeah, I get that, but I still feel like they could have ran it on Thursday because they're starting I mean, at two o'clock, same time event started on on two o'clock on Thursday. They could have done it. Yeah, and not not even to mention the fact that we're going to be mentally exhausted, like you always are when you have a tournament to go into another tournament. It's like you're coming out of sealed, sure. You're going to be playing for four to five rounds, however much. Two o'clock, that means you didn't really have a break for food. And you're going to turn around and then start Pope World Championship. Mm-hmm. Granted, you didn't make single elimination. Um, that's, that is just their timing with that just always feels weird it, Awful, it, it just it, it does well it's the same man with their their other games like as someone who's trying to learn all of their games why are they scheduling everything at the same time do they not want hero clicks players to play onslaught do they not want onslaught players to play hero clicks do they not want to double their money by getting everyone to play everything because they schedule everything at the same damn time it's like I want to play Onslaught. I can't. I want to play Hero Clip. Like I have to choose. It's like why do I have to choose? It's the same yeah. at Gen Con. It's the same here. I have to choose a game. It's like why can't it be like you have all this other time? Like mm-hmm. make it happen. Like yeah. just, I understand and space play into a lot of that, but and I, and I'm I'm sure they don't want to go into Thursday because they know not everyone could take off Thursday. A lot of people come in on Friday. But we had Silver Worlds last year Thursday. I no, mean, I would to argue... be clear, it wasn't Silver Worlds last year. Okay, whatever. Silver at Worlds. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, I would argue Pulp is definitely a step up than what Silver was last year. Like, Pulp World should be better. No, no. Like, Worlds should be big. For, like, for a big thing here, right? Let's just be clear. I am excited that they're having Theme Worlds in Pulp Worlds. That they're calling it a World Championships. That they're having it. But come on. Like, realize that we are excited. We showed up last year. Big numbers last year. Two halls. Let's be clear. They have to rent three halls. They have two halls for us to play in. And then they have a third hall Mm -hmm. for storage. Right? Mm -hmm. Three Mm -hmm. halls at a convention center. We filled them up. Start yeah. the event earlier on Thursday. Let's see if somebody can walk out pulp or theme, team, and singles world champion. Let's see it happen. Nope. Not happening. Can't can't let that happen. Just start the event yeah. first thing on Thursday. Let's just well, do, I mean, let's, let's roll. Let's do it. Let's start it at 10, 11 o'clock. Pulp World Championship, Theme World Championship. Get in this line if you want to be a Theme World Champion. Get in this line if you want to be a Pulp World Champion. Well, yeah, and that's the other point. We were, we just mentioned Pulp. The same thing happens to Theme for the singles. Because in the yeah. single, the single tournament happens at 9. I, I said that. Yeah, I said I had said yeah. that. We, yeah. And we don't know. The thing is, is that they don't specify when World Champ singles, is, uh, uh, single elimination happens. Obviously, because they don't know how many people... And sometimes it just gets pushed later in the day. Yeah, here's another um, thing we were talking about with that. Like last year in the in the in the in the article, they listed that Top Cut was on Sunday for World Singles. Yeah, they might. I, they don't do that this time. Well, that's I'm okay with that because there might be some flexibility, right? If it's like, oh, we can squeeze in Top Cut and start Top Thirty Two tonight well, and do my, Top Sixteen my, on Sunday. Yeah, maybe, maybe my fear is that maybe they're going to make it make it shorter, like. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not worried about that part. I, I, I think not detailing it leaves some flexibility in there. It does. Of, but it also of, could be bad. Play. It also could go the bad way. That's that's fair. Yeah. But yeah, if you do well in singles and teams, you you won't get to play pulp or theme. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, let's be honest. Pulp pulp is the talk of the town. Theme is not. I'm sorry. You know what? It is still a world championship. 
Jason. Mm-hmm. So it I, is. I'm, I'm not saying it ain't. I'm just saying I don't think it's going to be as big as Pulp is. Oh, I'm I'm ready for it to be. I mean, that's what I'm going to be playing in. So well, I know I know you are because you don't like Pulp, but <laughs> well, I mean that's that's. I mean, I'm allowed to not like Pulp. I, I know you are. I'm not saying you have to. It's just not your thing. I get it. Now for Pulp World Championship and theme, they do specifically list. Um, that it is 300 point modern for pulp, so they it is still that it's no Gen Con tomfoolery, which they have clarified. I believe someone came out and officially yeah, they posted an announcement about that. Yeah. yeah, so that has been clarified for those going to Gen Con. That pulp is always intended to be modern. That was just a screw up for the Gen Con thing. Um, they don't list prizing for the side events like they have before, um, but they do say prizing of this event will include convention exclusive figures. Sealed bricks of product and more. Um, so that's interesting. I mean, it could be old stuff, um, but it also could be new stuff. So, like, it could be Notorious Bricks. It could be Avenger 60th Bricks. Like, okay. Like, that's fine for a world championship of, like, just pulp and theme, like, smaller things they made this year. I don't remember what Silver got last year. Um, um, I got, uh, I was. You know what's funny is that I won that event um, because Lucas conceded in the final round. Um, but uh, so I ended up with two Chase Prime sets of Disney Plus, and I gave mm. Lucas the um, X of Swords Chase Prime set. And uh, in hindsight, being twenty twenty, uh, over those next few months, I definitely came out ahead having two Chase and Prime sets from Disney Plus as opposed to X of Swords. Yeah, but but at the time that made sense, like with all the tarot. Because that did it have the tarot's? No, it was just Chase Prime. It wasn't Factory. Oh, that's okay though. Um, I mean, is there anything else positive? Like, I don't want to just like before we get into questions or anything. What is there anything else we need to make sure we talk about besides the disappointment in pricing? I mean, uh, no, the the schedule is a disappointment too. Um, I I, I want to make sure we don't like not understate that too much. The pricing is a, the the scheduling is a disappointment too. Um, let folks play. Let them let let's just fill it up. Fill it up. Fill us up. Um, well, and I guess I guess what we need to see is, and one of our listeners can do it because I'm sure none of us are. Someone make a schedule that that works. Because in our heads, it makes sense. But it may not be, like, like, capable of, like, working out the way we think it could work out. And we're just hoping we could plan all the events, and it's like, that just, logistically, it just can't work that way. Timing just doesn't work. No, no. And if you want to include Thursday, you can, but Thursday is... Let's be clear, Alex. Let's be clear. We, We... The scheduling could work out. They, it it I, could. It could work I, out. If you include Thursday. Yes. What it did could, they run last year on Thursday? Just Silver. Silver, silver and uh, X of Swords and Battle Royals. X of Royals. Swords slop. And well, Battle Royals. Yeah. They're, they're, doing, they're doing the slop thing again. So, I mean, that's not different. It's just X of, just the, the Silver Age. Is they're doing what? they're doing eight man pulp events and theme events this time, um, yeah. where you get more prizes the more rounds you win. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, let's answer some questions and let's wrap this up. I, guys and folks, guys and gals that listen, we do try to be overwhelmingly positive here. And I, I, I'm typically the one leading the charge. And then even besides uh, Alex's uh, angel's advocate, I won't say devil's advocate because you're usually promoting the positive side of that, Alex. Um, I I try to be the Mr. Positive on the show, not the Mr. Negative. That's right, yeah. And I I, I try to be just the regular level set person um, as well. And... (laughs) <laughs> Dang it! If I I'm just gonna to, tell you like it is. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat the bullshit. No, no, so, no. I, I, yeah. I do. I don't. I don't sugarcoat it, Jason. I'm with you. I, I don't sugarcoat it. But son of a 
bitch, man. Just like, I, and I don't cuss like this. Y'all know I don't cuss like this on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah you do. But when you got, when you got some, I mean, I am just some drinks when you're I two fingers just, in. Two fingers in, yeah. I'm just so. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I know. That's why I did it. <laughs> I know. I just. I am so sad that the the prizing is this way, the scheduling is this way. Design a figure is just such the penultimate thing to win in Hero Clicks. It's your. It's a legacy. It's people mm. want to collect you. And you just get kicked in the gut with it to this year. I, I just figured it would have been done. I just figured, like, after last year, they'd have been like, oh, yeah, people like this. This is a good thing. Nope. Yeah, if you didn't know how much it was valued after that. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing? Right. right. Yeah, and worst case, if it was only going to be a one-time thing, they should have announced that last time when they added it. And said, listen, we've heard from the community. We're able to add it this one time. It, it is only going to be this one time. We, For whatever reason, we, we can't do it going forward. We would have come into this year with different expectations mm -hmm. than yes. what we have yes. right now. Yeah. Like, I, if you were to... Like, I am Mr. Optimist, but right now I am even still, like, the Jackie Chan meme, meme of, like, What? Like seeing the prizing yeah. and the way things are lined up, it's just like, what is this? It it makes logistically it doesn't make sense. That's right, you got it. Um, I, I will ask before we go into questions, and I don't know if anyone has this question about it. When you're so Thursday now, we've just got free time, <laughs> quote unquote, right? Like because we're not, there's no bigger pulp worlds theme or whatnot so on thursday what are you guys playing is obviously if it's notorious are you heading to brs because there are theme like eight person single elimination pulp and theme events so there's yeah so we are event are you going to come in wednesday night too yeah, I, do, I live across the state, so I'll yeah. be there Thursday. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be there third. We're gonna come. So last year we drove down on Thursday and started our exhaustion by driving and then playing in Silver that day. Um, mm -hmm. So I think I want to check out. I think my goal will be to check out what is the Silver or the the theme prizing. Mm -hmm. Like, what are they gonna have there on site for playing in theme, and then playing those. If not, I'll play a uh, brs yeah oh, I'll, I'll, it's brs for sure and then may, it may be a pulp tournament yeah because is there any even if the prizing is your typical because it's single elimination eight person so you can't expect the prizing to be that much better than just like a connelly winnable or two right because it's a yeah. small little tournament yeah so i mean if, if it's venoms or something or like something that's going for a couple hundo like a hundo yeah i mean i'll work for that now because for what i'm thinking is i want to play in the pulp event i might play like the big world championship i'm thinking that since i'm bringing my pulp team i'll either use it as practice or mm -hmm. play in one of those just so i can play pulp like i didn't just bring a team i don't get to play in the event that I do incredibly well in Team Sealed, and like I end up being in the top cut, whatever it is, and I I, I hate bringing a team. It's like, oh, I don't get to play it. That stinks. So mm -hmm. yeah. that's probably one of the things I'm leaning leaning towards. Um, just just my first thought because I I'm I like looking at schedules, and even though this one sucks, I still have to be realistic and say, okay, well, what am I actually going to do? Because this probably isn't changing. Right. No, I'm, I'm totally content to play BR, just nothing else is going on. So. Um, all right. Questions. Gins. Yeah, so Caleb, we, I mean, we kind of answered his question. Um, and uh, Newmark, 
uh, will they be unveiling an unbelievably rare, possibly one of one Evelyn's figures that force blasts you back to your starting area? I mean, it kind of feels like we're getting blasted back to our starting area. Um, that's a good joke. I don't know if they if they see all the craze that Magic had with the uh, the One Ring and the Lord of the Rings set. <laughs> they might be tempted down the road to be like, "All right, we got to get this one figure." Right. This, this one Thanos that sees through everything when he shoots. Yeah, right. Rip. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Andreas, right, do we think that there will be... All right, so we just... Let's explicitly state our thoughts here. Mm -hmm. Do we think that Notorious will be at BRs? I mean, uh, it's not unheard uh, of. Not, you're not your hopeful opinion. What? Let's just... Make a prediction. This is not... If you're wrong, nobody's going to razz you about it in a couple months. Okay? Will there be... Now, we know that there will be likely a special BR. There's always... There's a very good chance of a special BR. Right? Like, if you well, didn't play... If you've been, all right, so... If so, go, back so, nine, so go back to 19. When, when uh, Dark Phoenix got to be the BR set. That was before it was out, right? That's before it was out. Well, that's what I was going to ask. What happened last year? Uh, last year we had... Uh, what did we have? It was X of Swords. X of that Swords. Was, that was the yeah. team sealed. Was but that it, also yeah. BRs? Yes. Yes, it okay. was. Yep. Okay. Yep. That had already released. The, the, that was the, like yeah. a month after release. The, yeah, the, Look, spe uh, the, the special thing was being able to do the full month of the slop. Like, right I'd be on. happy if A60 or Notorious or... BR says because A60's got all kinds of gems in it. Yeah, so but I mean, they typically do Marvel, they typically do Marvel BRs and DC BRs. So, yes or no, will Notorious be available for DC BRs for the masses at Worlds? Yes or no? I hope so, yes. Nope, nope, I'm, nope, Jason, I don't want you to say, yes, I hope so, yes. Yes, yes. yes. that's your prediction, yeah. yes. Okay, that's Alex, what's your prediction? No. I'm going to Go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you, Alex. I think it is absolutely gonna be team sealed. I think they're gonna have enough and say we're gonna do team sealed with it. So you you buy in. It's a set that's coming out. Team sealed. Here we go. It was. But I in, think, it, Dark Phoenix was team sealed and BRs. Yep. And I think it's a big set. Tons of figures. A lot of variety out there. Um, I think it's gonna be. Both. I think it absolutely could be both. I think they're not going to announce what's going to be. They never announce what's going to be BRs. I think they could be anticipating, realistically, I think they're anticipating it for it to be both, but they uh, they are also preparing to say, we got Avengers 60th in our back pocket to say this is going to be what it is, maybe even Spider-Man, and say this is going to be BRs because we have to make sure we have enough product of Notorious to go for Team Sealed because we could end up with way more teams than we think. And we don't want to screw ourselves over by running out of boosters. I Make mean, it just be a limited amount. Because they did now. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I want to make sure I don't, I'm not thinking of tournaments wrong. They did a brick last year. Yeah, right? and they're doing yep. a brick this year. Okay. Yep. I want to make sure that that was. Yeah, it's $170 cost, so it's a brick. Okay, so just handing out bricks. I could see them. Yeah, I could see I could see it being both ways. I think if I'm being more realistic, I could see them holding off on the BRs until after seal team sealed. And maybe they open it up afterwards to say we've got some notorious out there. And then the special one being Wheels of Vengeance. They've got a couple boosters of that to do, because that's not that far later, two months later. Um to say we've got some a special wheel of vengeance br um mm, I you see know that what I, I i like optimist alex when it comes to this situation yeah i try to think of it from like as a if i was whiz kids what i would do and in this yeah. case it's like i would plan for brs to be notorious but i would not announce it make sure i have enough for team sealed because if i don't have enough for team sealed 
That's that I it would suck if everything was BR notorious and then Team Sealed had I don't think it wouldn't suck if Team Sealed was Avenger 60th. That's the thing. No, it, it would it would not. Yeah, so I, I guess I won't say that. I, I'll still go with my original answer though. You know what would suck? If it was Rise and Fall, that would suck. Avenger Forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, Avenger Forever, when we played at Championship Clicks, that wasn't terrible. Like, it's not a terrible set. What? Which one are you talking about? What are you talking Avengers about? Forever? Yeah. Like no, that set? It was a good sealed. Yeah. Yeah, it was a fi- perfectly fine set. It's just, it'll be old by then. And we're coming to Worlds for the new hotness. That's right. So Yeah, I agree. Um, all right. Um, next question. Um, Matt Gronot. Yeah, Matt, I agree with this one a lot. How come Scott Porter and David Newmar can do better than WizKids can? Um, Scott Porter's the only guy that's got any stroke around this place, man. <laughs> he gets stuff done. Yeah. I mean... I'd like it's, to I'd like to see Porter at Worlds and like I'd like to see I mean I get it uh, uh, Porter Porter can't fix everything for us but man I tell you what Hero Clicks Huntington has been a badass event because of and, Porter's involvement and you know, you want to know why it works with with Scott is because he bridges the gap I was talking about before the disconnect with the people that are or, you know, making things happen, but maybe not getting the uh, right quality checks. He bridges that gap to say, okay, this isn't right. We got to get it fixed. And then when, if Miss, you know, if Scott's not happy with something or it's not working, the upper management's going to know about that. And so that's where kind of like the communication that should have already existed, I feel like starts happening because of that. He's able to like bridge the gap of, well, he's not happy it's his charity event like we we got to do something so yeah it, it is crazy and then for the new mark side it, it's like well there's a lot of aspects of the new mark side i mean anytime you can provide money as a prize it's going to trump a lot of things so it, it's something where like i i don't know if, why wiz kids doesn't do money i guess legality reasons but you hear about all these other tournaments man yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, what was it? The flesh and blood. Yeah, hundred K for the winner was a hundred K for a winner. Eh, I'm not asking for a hundred K. Let's just be clear. But, I mean, shit. Well, okay. There's <laughs> also like a hundred times more players. I, I think I read that. there's like there's like two hundred thousand competitive players of flesh and blood or something crazy like that. Whereas like yeah, Heroclix, it's we're like not, we're not saying we're expecting that. We're just saying. Well, yeah. I mean, if you if you do it by, a th- like it was what a hundred thousand for that. So if that's a hundred times more than what we have, so like a thousand dollar prize still wouldn't be bad. <laughs> if you were to say you win worlds and you get like a thousand bucks, yeah, compared to know. rock compared to rock up and other things, obviously. I mean, it's better than what we're getting now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Um... So Jack Smith uh, said, "I'm not trying to be negative after about worlds." Same you here. Your question. Oh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Matt. Yeah, we asked that. Yeah, we are we excited about pulp and theme? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and we're trying to cover as much as we can, um, Matt. Bet- between all of this stuff, I mean, we we are. <sighs> we need to the, step it up. Uh, uh, we, I we are. Just... I, I, you know, we are right. Other than the wind being taken out of our sails today with this whole announcement thing, I mean, guys, we, we are, we are, we have done more content this past few months than we have done in a long time because we were super excited about all this stuff. Super excited. And, but yeah. Um, and then Jack says, yeah, we are excited to see you too, Jack, for sure. Um, is one of the winnable pricing exciting for y'all? 
Mm, I don't know what Superman and Joker do, so hard to say. Well, it, we also it, don't. In, in, are those the only two we don't know? We don't know there... what Thorgwin. We don't know what Thorgwin does. Let's just say, in theory, Jason, is there one that you're excited about? We also don't know Watcher. Yeah, or what? I, I guess I'm Watcher's probably like the character I'd be most excited about. It's like that on that armored Watcher from like the What If series, you know? Yeah, he better be a badass, right? He better be a badass. He was yeah. a multi-dimensional battling Ultron super beast. Yeah, I mean, they're like punching shit through realities, man. Like, let's get some good stuff. I hope he's not in If he's as much of a letdown as Ultron Infinity Chase was, I'm going to be sad. That is a good comparison. Um, as far as the winnables go, though, almost all of them are like somewhat desirable. Like we don't have a lot that's like, oh, this is just awful. Like the, um, because right now the winnables that we know of, um, uh, let's see, Hawkeye, Hawkeye is a purchasable. Batman is, Space Ghost is, Wonder Woman generation generations is. Thor Gwen, Venom, God of Symbiotes are winnables. We don't know Thor Gwen. Venom looks awesome. He looks really cool. Yeah. We for, we forgot about him. Like he was previewed like I like Hero Clicks for Huntington's are earlier. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. But he's a super solid figure. Like it's just we kind of forget about him. Um so like he's a winnable I'm I'm pumped about. And then I, we saw Captain America on Pegasus, didn't we? Yeah, he yeah, shut he off cool. power somehow. But he's a buyable. Is he a buyable? I thought he's he was a buyable. A he's, a, he's a buyable for thirty bucks. It's on the nice. pricing list. Well, then never mind yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That so I guess that's, uh, Venom is the only one we have seen that is a winnable, and it's yeah. very very solid. So, um, all right. So, next question. Peter Melton, can we boycott and not go? Would that even send the right message? No. I think a boycott would mean we just lose WizKids Worlds altogether. The The mm -hmm. thing is, is that we, we are all going still. Nothing is stopping us from going. Nothing's going to slow us down from going. We just want it done correctly. Like, to be fair, if you decide not to go because of this, I don't put you down for doing it. Yeah. I, I can understand why. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I totally um, can understand why. But boycotting it does lend towards it not happening altogether. I mean, yeah, that could be a dangerous slope to be on. but Absolutely. But... You could still um, have... If you're boycotting, you don't want to play world singles there's still so much else you could do and so much like um gonna be so many people there that you'll have a good time with so even if you're not pumped about world singles because team worlds is still probably going to be pretty good yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you still have a good time. Yeah, you'll still what. have a you'll have a great. I think you could potentially have a great time. It would it be better if everything was fixed, one hundred percent. But don't boycott and mi find out you missed out on having just a good time with friends. And maybe it's just you know we we end up boy if nothing changes, we say you know what we're not going to play in the singles event. Let's all go get drinks somewhere, and we just. Yeah. But we go get drinks. But that's the problem. I just we're not, not, not going to do that because the title still means a lot to me. You're not going to do that. Yeah, I mean, but... because the title still means so much to me that I, I just I have to do it. I want to do it. Sure. And, but man, I am just so disappointed. I just don't fault anybody for doing that. If that's what they feel like they need to do. Right, yeah. And, and that's what's precluding you, Dan, to, to not boycott is because you're like well the title still means something for those that are like maybe don't have expectations of getting to the title they are hopeful but they're like it's probably not likely well nothing faulting you if you decide i don't want to just i, I decided i don't want to play in singles as a boycott i wanted to see that they only got 80 people as opposed to 100 and something perfectly fine just don't point don't boycott the whole weekend don't miss out on having fun with friends don't miss out on buying the convention exclusives because you don't want to 
you know, you don't want to miss out on buying some of the Bibles and realize, oh crap, I because we're missing some of the Wonder Woman generation figures, and you you just don't want to be on the the odd man out and realize yeah. that you missed out on Space Ghost. Yeah, and he's I, a lot more expensive. Yeah. I just want it to be clear that design a figure is what everybody strives for. That's what the goal is, right? Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. Period. That's sure. what you're going for. That's right. Um, Brian Hines, yeah. So, is World still worth going to? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Jason, yes, it's still going to be fun. Yes, I agree. Um, I can I can sit here and bitch all day about how bad the pricing is, but it's I still have fun because I want to see people and play hero quakes, and I like both of those things. So. Yes, and I and you go I, back to and I love the community. I love y'all. I love being around. Ninety nine point nine percent of y'all. Um, Worst case, then, you guys all go back to the, the Graceland nice swimming pools and just hang out in the hot tubs or whatever, and have some and drink for us. Have and some eat drinks. barbecue. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got to go back to the barbecue place. That's right. No mm -hmm. McDonald's for breakfast. We are getting breakfast in our room. I can still. Bleh. So I, I want to pack some shit or something. Yeah. I'm so like, hey, yeah. Um, I just would like to add for everybody. Um, the breakfast in the hotel is super expensive for the most yeah, part. Yeah, super expensive. <laughs> I'm and, sure it's worth this year. And um, I would just like to just, I just want to say, like, that's probably one of the downsides. But we um, went and we ate at McDonald's every day. Yeah, Oof. that was a bad idea. And it was, I just, not. it was a terrible idea. And I have not eaten McDonald's breakfast maybe once or twice the past 300 yeah, and like, some days since then. Like, like Chick Fil A, it's not nice. <laughs> right. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll we'll talk about it more when we get closer. Like probably after Nats, we'll we'll give some primers on how to prep. But yeah, yeah. just bringing a breakfast of sorts is yeah. If you're driving or getting a grocery delivery, if you're flying, uh, Kim Van Meter says, uh, "Can we sleep in a tent outside of the facility?" Asking for a friend. Not um, recommended. I don't think you can, but I do know that there is a campground. Uh, uh, yeah, that's actually a good point. Judge, uh, 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 I always forget his name, <laughs> but Judge Cheats actually does that. Keith, that's Keith. Yeah, Keith. Sorry, Keith. I, I, somebody else's name this weekend, um, was that away, and I'm like. I don't actually know your real name if you only go by your fake name on Facebook. So, uh, but yeah, Keith, uh, Keith says that there is a campground. Um, so, uh, yeah, Kim, there is a campground. I don't know if they do tent camping or just camper camping. So, so uh, hey, the benefit of the internet. If you want to do a primitive tent at the Graceland RV campground, which is literally shares a parking lot with the convention center one it's like roped off slightly uh it is the the rate for a primitive tent is 28 dollars and plus tax per night um if you want the full hookup or just water and electricity for like rvs and stuff it goes up like to 51 or 57 dollars which is still a really good deal if you've got a nice rv that's pretty reasonable you, yeah you got a nice rv you don't want to deal with the expensive stuff I mean, that's not bad to just, like, I'm going to park my RV here. Don't have to pay for parking. I'm, I'm, it's all covered. And, like, go to Worlds, that's actually pretty hype. Like, if we won, if we had won the lottery and we were able to afford a click stop mm -hmm. fleet of RVs, mm -hmm. I, I, I might be inclined to say, let's do that. Yeah. But, oh, I'd, um, love to, I'd love to have a super nice RV. Um, that would be definitely in my uh, category of things. Uh, but um, it, you could bring it, you could also bring pets and stuff, so that that's an added benefit. But yes, technically you can camp at those campgrounds. It it costs a fraction of staying at Graceland, obviously. But you miss out on some of the Graceland hotel benefits and and the the niceness of the hotel. But it is possible. Yeah. Um. All right. No, next question. Uh, William K. Hall, I've never been to Worlds before. What does the cost look like if I just want to come play Battle Royals? Uh, the the hotel um, is uh, one of the big costs. Um, 
You could just yeah. go for the day and not stay. I mean, you could just go into play and buy stuff, maybe a couple hundred bucks plus food. Like, yeah. It's uh, one fifty nine a night with a ten dollar night resort fee. Well, it says waived for our group. I don't know. What... Yeah, yeah so it's you're just probably looking at a night. I mean, I know Williams in Kentucky, so like he's driving down. So if you just want to stay for like Friday night and Saturday night. Um, drive down on Friday, leave on Sunday. You're probably looking at 500 bucks for everything, maybe 600 bucks with some food. Maybe, yeah, because, yeah, because honestly, when the two times that we've been there, you rarely go out of the Graceland vicinity unless it is like you go early in the week, so like a Wednesday night, maybe Thursday, or you're trying to grab some food and you don't want to do any of the hotel stuff. But I found that most of the time I'm just playing clicks until late. Um, so if you're coming from Kentucky, you could eat the bare minimum I would suggest is stay Friday night. Things wrap up Saturday. Like I think the last BR is at eight. So depending on where you are in Kentucky, um, if you don't mind driving at night, you could be done and drive a few hours, three or four hours back. Yeah, Saturday night. If you don't want to pay the one fifty nine plus tax and all of that stuff, so realistically, yeah, dance five hundred is fine. Maybe you could get a little cheaper if you only stay one night. But definitely, I would not try to do a day trip out of it. it just spend the night, enjoy the atmosphere of playing in BRs because a Friday Saturday combo of that is going to be good. Because you could also play in like a pulp event too. If you're if you're not a constructed modern player like pulp is a great format and you're a great way to get into competitive without having the cost and the the fear of all the craziness like pulp is still a lot of fun so all right um so uh also what is the best way to find folks to split a room with for thursday through sunday night because i'm looking to split the hotel room uh i mean the way we do it is we have a team of players um, and then we just have buddies to split with. Um, Jeff Dumas. Uh, so, uh, what are the odds we'll see some streamed games? I, I mean, unlikely, considering past history. Um, they've done it occasionally, but uh, slim, uh, slim. Well, it it depends on how much improved the Dial H guys are this year. Yeah. Um, because uh, uh, last year, because last true. year was their first year, they were really more about like the extra like interviews and stuff. And I feel like I remember when I talked to them last year, the goal was to get the last year settled, and then this year is when they up the ante. So that's a good question for Dial H because I assume they're going to be the ones again because they were last year. Yeah. Um, and just ask yeah. them if they plan on doing streaming in individual games. I assume. Their goal is to do that because that's the ultimate thing people want to yeah, see. I forgot about them doing that. So yeah, that, they might have that done. Yeah. Um, and, and I do want to piggyback because they kind of circumvented your question, the the previous person. Um, if you need to find a roommate or something, feel f like the hero. All the different hero clicks Facebook pages are like players and whatnot are probably okay um, to kind of just ask around. Just yeah, just do that. Don't, don't be afraid to reach out to like a buddy you know, or uh, not even a buddy, but ask a, a well-known HeroClix person to say, hey, do you know anybody? Because uh, we hear all the time from somebody, say, hey, we heard somebody's looking for a room. Um, so don't be afraid to just post in some of the Facebook groups. Yeah. Hey, I need someone to room with. All right, uh, second part of Jeff's question, uh, and he says, do you stream your games just to have an excuse to not pack up your figures each round? Uh, so that's a question <laughs> for me. Um, so let's just be honest, that is a benefit of streaming my games. So, uh, But it is definitely not the sole reason or one of the top reasons that I stream my games. I, I have gotten a lot of great feedback. I did have some technical difficulties in Alabama for some un freaking known reason uh, again i could have thrown some of my com technical computer stuff out the window um not really i don't get that angry anymore but at all but um yeah um 
people like it. We I mean we have ten to ten to twenty people watching the stream, uh, which is, I feel is really good for Hero Clicks uh, on a random Saturday. Um, so yeah, my main reason is uh, people like it, and it gives me a good reason to um, show off the best of Hero Clicks, right? And that's the the best of the community. That's to show how to really play games and have a really good game with both players playing to their best potentials um but yeah it is nice not having to pack my figures up each round um i have all the hero clicks trays and i loved my uh justin hafford uh lunchbox yep. this time because i wasn't playing carnage uh big boy carnage this time so my uh he justin hafford not a sponsored ad um hero he clicks lunchbox. A great one, though. yeah that's yeah. good um, and uh, mentioning a HeroClix sponsored ad, check out Oxit Lincoln Bio. Join the HeroClix Cafe, where it's a great place to buy, sell HeroClix figures with weekly auctions. Uh, Lincoln Bio to join. Um, so Constantine. Um, uh, we we'll probably want to talk about this a little bit more, but um, are you all pretty set on the teams you're going to play? Or are you always looking for something totally different? Um, I'm always looking for what I think is the best. That's fair. That's, fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of, that sounds like one of those, um, you hear the media talk to like a, an NFL coach or a player. It's like, what do you think of the game today? Well, our guys went out there that they did their best. Uh, we just try to score points and win. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty set on mine because I need I need lots of I need lots of uh, time to learn it to do well with it. Yeah, so um, Generally. I will say this: um, I am playing Kentucky and Indiana states uh, this weekend. Um, I am playing a di completely different team than what I've been playing the past two states. Uh, I'm still finalizing the details and getting a couple of reps in before Kentucky, and. Um, that could be very well likely my Nats team. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see. I'm sticking with sticking with the MOE chases and the double well, harness. Well, for, for what it's worth, yeah. I did not have my MOE chases for the first two states. So, um, my, my team will be an MOE-based team. Um, Scarlet Witch doesn't quite have the reach on a 16 by 24 that I would like when Scarab is in play. So... Um, I don't want to, not quite the episode for it, Constantine, but, uh, we do want to cover that later, but, you know, throw scare about into the trash and yet, can. And yes, matchups are very important. Very, very, very important. Right. RNG. I talked about that on the last, uh, the solo episode, um, uh, a lot. So, uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm playing for Nats yet. So awesome. Yeah. It, it is. I, I'm with you. You got like three weeks, Alex. So, uh, two. Um, I don't know if you can launch an OnlyFans and get enough fans in and um, buy the figures before Nat. So, you might have to go for like a, a more direct route, like a street, I have, like listen, a, like a like a street corner maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's something I, I just know. saw. Something I just saw. It says in the article that they're using Avengers 60 for Battle Royals. Oh, really? Yep. If you go to side events under Battle Royal, it says standard Battle Royal rules using Avengers 60th anniversary boosters. Oh. Haha, I was right then. I know, but yep. that was the question, though. Do we think that Notorious, like if the shipment comes in... No, they could I'm... slip that, that that was our yes no i understand that the article says that oh but that was the question that I mean, we will we'll rephrase the question i think alex and i were no both ways does that change your answer jason if the tourists <laughs> will show up I'm, I'm, this, this is the one thing i want to choose to be positive about maybe it'll happen okay <laughs> fair enough um so scott uh hold on uh william k we answered your question already uh, Rick Sharp, is it possible to perform well in Worlds with a modern age pulp team? But guys, I want y'all to be just honest with Rick here. Yes or no? 
I don't think so. Mm. Yes or no, Alex? If you're, if you're what, only, what, if you... what, what is, what is well, what is well? I want to say well is top eight. No, no, the, no. So. no. Well, well to me is like making cut. Is well top making cut? I, I think that's a struggle. Yeah, yeah that, that, it, that would be a, think... such a struggle. Yeah, if, if you well, if, half, if, if you can if, make top half, that's probably good. But... Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. So let's just recap all that. No to top eight. No to cut. Well would be top half, Rick. Yeah, Rick, if I would change my answer to maybe making top cut, if you took your pulp team and at least added the missing, like, equipment. Like, Tarot cards. Like this. Yeah. yeah, like, if you well, were just do a pure pulp where it's like, I don't get equipment, I don't pulp. get nothing. Yeah, 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 then no. But if you get it where but it's like, man. oh, I'm only playing pulp figures... Then it, no more. then it ain't a pulp team no then more. Then it ain't a pulp exactly. team anymore. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. I'm saying for the sake of like he only wants to bring one team. And it's like, okay, but if he could pack some tarot cards and like a sword and a symbiote or something, that might be enough to push it forward. But not to top cut though. Uh, it, probably not. You're right. right. It just depends on the figures. Right. Um, and then Scott Crampton, should we boycott or just rage? I, I rage I, for sure. I mean, rage. I, 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 and I, I, again, like as the third or fourth time I mentioned this, I, I, I dislike having to do this. I did not want to spend my Tuesday night at eleven fifteen p.m. Central Time being upset about design a figure, not just being on the article this That's time, but here I am. So, I'm not boycotting. We're going to be there. We're going to have fun. I'm going to drink mezcal with the guys from Mexico. I'm going to have barbecue and a beer at the place where there's armed security guards. I'm not going to be eating McDonald's. And I'm going to enjoy seeing all of y'all and giving high fives and hugs and whatever else y'all want. But weird glances from the few of y'all that, you know, don't talk to us. Um, whatever. But I enjoy it all. So, rage is where we're at, I guess. And, so, that's the answer to that, Scott. Um, and then, Kupak, kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, Justin Red, yeah, we've talked about that. Um, Barnstable, how do the value, uh, compare? Uh, it's low. Um, so, I want to say this. He says, how is the timeline of communication? Are you happy with the speed? Um, what would be your alternate speed on the timeline if you controlled everything? Um, I mean, that's... January 1st. No, we, no, we, I would we, say we, January 1st would be optimal. But for me, it would be the week after Worlds. Yeah, that My, would be better. Week... Two to three weeks after the Worlds happened, I would say, here's the press release. We'd like to thank all of y'all for coming. We had, from our count, we did, we had 250 unique players across all of our events. Plus the ones that we didn't even count for Battle Royals. We had 100 unique players show up for Onslaught. Thank you all for coming out. We've talked with the venue. We're planning on September, blah, 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 2024. Mark like your a, calendars. That's like a perfect world where things work that way, sure. Well, and well it, it, this is the alternate speed on the timeline. If I controlled everything, obviously, Alex. That's well, the question. Very true. Very I, true. I, I'm answering Anthony's question. It can be done. There's people that do it. Yeah. Eh, sure. Um, See, that's I, just a fucking cop out. I'm so tired of hearing that. Like, there's other companies that do it. God damn it! So why with, can't they with do places it? with places like Graceland that have a lot of other like musical you, guests that come out through the year? If you get off your ass and do something, yeah, you probably could. The problem is, is I. I it isn't that I give them the benefit of the doubt. It's just I know how difficult it is to schedule things like that. So I understand if they, the like dance scenario, 
I can understand how that's not realistic. Now, better than what they've done, 100%. Six months out, that sh- is way more realistic. So, like, we should be hearing it in March, a little bit before then, 100%. A whole year in advance, uh, that's, that is... A little hard, I feel like, until mm. it's more consistent of, like, we're always going to be here. It's a guaranteed thing. Graceland, please, we're always going to be here. Um, the thing, the only thing I wouldn't change, um, like, you could scoot the hotel announcement back a little bit than from this week. What, two month, less than two months out? That's fine. I wouldn't want that super early. Um, like, you know, the hotel thing is open uh, because... Some conventions run into that problem of we're opening up housing like a year early. And it's like, I don't know if I could commit yet to coming then. And I'd be worried about losing some money by having to like cancel. Uh, it, that was my problem with like the championship clicks thing for a little bit. It's like, well, you got to commit this much money now. And you would get a refund, but it's you just like. Need, you just need dates. That's what you need. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. We don't control everything. It just is what it is. Um, so, George Mashu says we should have a show with Jimmy O'Brien or Justin Zirin. Um, I I would say this again. We would absolutely love to have a WizKids official podcast. Um, and, and not. Not just having one of them on as a HeroClix player, but as an official representative of the company. And we'd be open it to uh, uh, organizing it or whatever, however y'all want. If we need to stick to a script, we'd stick to a script. Whatever. Um, but we would love to have a WizKids official podcast for um, HeroClix. And I don't think Justin's ever been on a podcast before. Uh, Mr. Zirin, you are more than welcome to be on a show. Um, love to have you on. Um, Dionacio, um, is it worth going for international players? Yeah. Love to meet y'all. Come on out. Um, Chance, we need to talk about pulp format a little bit later. We still have our tier makers to go. Um... Dusty, we talked a little bit about legacy cards as an alternative. Uh, Brandon, Bernie, well, the whole show is what's our take on how WizKids is handling the competitive player. Um, Lou Minotti, is WizKids trying to kill competitive hero clicks? No. Boy, it, boy, it feels like they're trying to squeeze us. I mean, cons- I would. I don't know. Look, I would say based off of the schedule, despite the tournaments not lining up right, there's a hell of a lot to do as a Hero Clicks player, like as a competitive player. Like we're having problems because there's too many competitive events we want to play in. So I can't say that they're like starving us out like poor old Dice Masters where there's jack all. So no, uh, the prizing notwithstanding. I, I don't think they're doing that. I think it, the event schedule says enough that there's plenty to do. If they wanted to starve us all, they would have 50 bajillion onslaught, and they say, here's team, here's world seal, uh, singles. That's it. Some BRs. Have fun. Yeah, I get it. I tend to agree. Is that your final thoughts, Alex? Uh, no. What's your final thoughts? Um... So my final thoughts is I'm still going to remain optimistic that things will change from now till then. That's why they have the little line at the bottom, prizing subject to change. I do think some things on it is a mistake. Um, But I also think we've got a lot we still need to cover. There's a lot we've got to talk about just prepping up the Nats, but then it's a quick turnaround from Nats to worlds and luckily this year nothing's gonna change like figure wise right no nope. unless unless they like make some of these con we're buying legal 
for worlds, like a space ghost or something. That is possible because we are buying it in August and the first week would be like the beginning of September and this is the second week. So some of those world Bibles, like Venom, might be legal. But uh, not a Bible, a winnable. Or, sure, winnable, thank you. Um, either way, I, I we've got a lot to cover that I think we need to yep. do. All right. Jason? Um, I guess despite how uh, upset I've been with it all, I guess uh, you can still go and have fun at Worlds. Don't uh, don't not go. Um, and just you know, email their customers, customer service at wizkid.com. Go on their official Facebook page or all their other official channels and just politely tell them you're not happy with it. Yep. And we can't and anything else, Jason. No, nah, that's it. Yeah, and I would say the politeness, right? I mean, obviously, again, if you've made it this far, you know that we exaggerate a little bit for the shock value being some podcasters a little bit. But, yeah, emphasize the politeness when you're dealing directly with the company. Um, you know, I had to remind folks in the thread to be solutions-focused and that sort of thing. And But uh, there's a lot of emotion, right? We want the design a figure. Please just make that a thing. Yeah, this is my place to get my emotion out. So yeah, don't uh, don't just rail at the employees. It's not right. their fault. It's not. Well, it's a couple of the employees' fault. We just don't it's, know which ones. It, no, it's it's the guys. It's it's the higher it's the higher up guys. Well, they're still employees, so. Yeah, not I'm not I'm not talking about the rank and file. It's not their fault. Yeah, the rank and file. That's a good one. Yeah, there's no Mr. Wiz Kids. We could say, uh, Mr. Wiz Kids, it's his decision. It's his fault. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody, for listening to Clickstuff today. We'll talk to y'all next time. Later. See ya.